Hey Libra, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a weekly update for you. This is a new thing that I'm doing. I'm going to do one big reading at the beginning of the month and then every week thereafter we will do a weekly update. It will be posted sometime between Sunday night and Tuesday morning. Um, if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. I'm going to give a spiel about um, cross-watching at the end of this video if you'd like to hang around for that. If not, that's perfectly okay, too. All right, Libra, we open this reading with you being really caught up in your head with the Nine of Swords in regards to a love relationship with the Two of Cups. The Nine of Swords, in its extreme definition, is depression, nightmares, intense anxiety, despair, and a painful lesson. I do believe in this particular spread, this in this particular reading, that this Nine of Swords is a painful lesson. So in regards to some kind of love relationship in your life, you are chalking it up to a painful lesson. The Four of Pentacles comes in and tells us that you're trying to gain control, stability, and security in your life. The Queen of Swords comes in and says, in order to do this, in order to do this, you have to cut something out of your life. What you're cutting out of your life is this Two of Cups relationship right here. The Ace of Cups says that it leaves you emotionally overwhelmed. With the Five of Cups coming in, telling us that you have, um, that, you know, there's disagreements, competition, strife, tension, and conflict in the relationship. And the Devil card comes in and says that this is a toxic relationship, some kind of a, uh, some kind of a, of a restriction. It's it's putting on on your your plans for life. It's it's a, it's a toxic attachment, probably a karmic relationship, right? The tower moment comes. You have an absolute revelation and an awakening. I don't think this is chaos, upheaval, and sudden change in your life, Libra. I think this is just an epiphany, an aha moment. Ping. You see the truth, you see, the, you see with clarity, right? It's a revelation and an awakening in your life. The death card comes in and says that you want change. You want change and you want to transition. You want to transition into the Queen of Cups, right? You want to, you want to transition towards maybe a water sign but the, this change and this transition in your life, the, the Queen of Cups is also about having emotional security, being calm, cool, collected, and knowing that you know that you know that this is what you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go. Because like I said, you chalked up this Two of Cups love relationship as simply a painful lesson in your life. And you're cutting it out with the Queen of Swords. You've had a tower moment about a toxic attachment in your life and you are changing your it's it's ending you're changing and transitioning into a new beginning and a new journey with the fool card now remember libra in all of your other readings for months now we've been talking about a two-party situation right a three-party situation two other people i think it was a queen of wands and a queen of pentacles that we've been talking about here so anyway um yeah, so you're transitioning, knowing that you know that you know that this is what you're supposed to do and where you're supposed to go, cutting out this toxic attachment that you have right here. The Four of Swords comes in and says that you are, you're contemplating. At this particular point, you are contemplating. You're contemplating becoming a knight in shining armor to somebody else, somebody that you really want some teamwork and collaboration with. And you'd really like to put forth some passionate messages about a new beginning with this person. About a new beginning with this person, not that person, some other person. 
the Ten of Swords comes in and says that you want to um, you want to regenerate, right? Now, the Ten of Swords is obviously about pain, backstab, defeat, crisis, betrayal, endings, and loss. This card is also about recovery and regeneration. And I think what this card is saying is that you would like to heal a relationship. You would like to regenerate a relationship with somebody else, maybe a water sign, right? You'd like to take a new beginning and a new journey. You would like to be this person's prince, uh, prince of cups, knight in shining armor, right? You'd like to come together with some teamwork and collaboration. You'd really like to put forth some passionate messages about having a new beginning and regenerate your relationship. The Five of Swords comes in and tells me that that you have um, that there is some past resentment about this relationship, or you really wouldn't want to regenerate it, right? If it wasn't flawed in the first place, there's no point in regenerating. But the Five of Swords also tells me that you are open to change and that you've dealt with the past resentment. Prince of Pentacles comes in and says that you would like to begin to slowly plan a future with this person that you'd like to be a knight in shining armor to, that you'd like a new beginning with, that you'd like teamwork and collaboration with. You'd like to slowly begin planning um, a, a future, right? You're, you're making a plan to approach this person. The Four of Cups says you're contemplating, you're thinking about how you are going to go about coming forward to this person as a Prince of Cups. King of Cups down here, lots of cups. Now we have the King and the Queen. You very well may be dealing with another water sign, with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, right? Now I'm not big on the signs at all, but there is a lot of water in this reading, and we do have the King and the Queen of Cups, right? So contemplating, contemplating how you are going to, you're planning and contemplating how you're going to approach this person to regenerate a relationship. The King of Cups comes in. He's the King of Love, right? He is the King of Love. He's also representative of having emotional balance and control. With that emotional balance and control, with being the king of a love, Libra, you would like to put forth some action-oriented communication to somebody that you see as an empress, whether they are a Taurus or not is kind of irrelevant, but you would like to put forth some communication, some action-oriented communication to someone that you see as an empress about building abundance in your life. However, the Nine of Wands comes in and says that, that you need to screw up some courage first. You're afraid. What you're afraid of is rejection with the Three of Swords. The Nine of Wands is about courage, persistence, and resilience, right? So you really want to go forward with some messages to this person that you see in your mind as an empress, right? But you're afraid of rejection. You're afraid they're going to reject your, your advances, right? Six of Swords comes in and says that you really want to transition into um, a new regenerated relationship with this Empress person right here. Temperance comes in and says that you really see this as, as purpose for you right now. Temperance also talks to us about having balance, right? And that goes back to the courage and the rejection, trying to get some, some balance in the situation, right? Where maybe there is an imbalance in the situation. I don't know what the deal is with this other person. But you see this person as a wish fulfilled. You see this person, this relationship as bringing forth um, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life. The Six of Wands comes in and says that you'd really like to make some progress 
in this situation. You're, 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 you're gaining some self-confidence and you'd really like to make some progress in this situation. What is this situation? Well, it's the Six of Cups. It's reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. Somebody that you'd like to be a knight in shining armor to. Somebody that you'd like teamwork and collaboration with. Somebody that you'd like to have a new beginning with and take a new journey with, right? Somebody that you'd like to regenerate a relationship, which just goes right back to the past, reuniting and um, reconciling with somebody from your past. Somebody that brings you the Ten of Cups, right? The, the Everything that everybody wants in a relationship. Harmony, happiness, values alignment. Let's just get a quick, a quick card real quick. I just want to just check something real quick. Yeah, look, somebody that you want commitment with. Oh, Libra, that's so sweet. Well, I'm really glad to see you getting out of this relationship right here because you've been you've been in this this toxic karmic relationship for a while now, for a good long while, and you're finally coming out of it. And you're finally going towards the person that you really want in your life. You're finally going towards your Empress. Congratulations, Libra. This is a beautiful reading, and we will check in again next week. If this is where we part ways, my friend, namaste. And here is the spiel. Super, super important, you guys, to, to cross-watch three major elements of your chart. Your sun sign, which is Libra, is how you receive information from the world. It's how you, it's how the information comes in in your brain, right? Your moon sign is how you feel about things. So the information comes in as a Libra, you process it as your moon sign and you spit it back out as your rising sign. Super important to cross watch, not only your sun sign, your rising sign and your moon sign, but throw your Venus sign in there as well to get a more complete and comprehensive um, picture of what's going on, right? These general readings are pretty ambiguous. So if you cross watch the other signs in your chart, it'll help you to fill in the holes and get a more comprehensive perspective of what's actually shaking down in your life or in the life of the people that you're cross watching for. It also helps you to communicate with the people in your life. If you know how they receive information, process information, and return information, it will help to give you um, the advantage in communication with these people and you will know how to communicate with them in order to get the results that you need to get from, um, from your communication. All right, there you go. If you'd like a reading just for you, just for your situation, 40 bucks, we'll hook it up at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste.